Hello, this is Uplers Funnies, and this is my first Blender tutorial. And what I'm going to do today is make a simple chain. Okay, first of all, I'll make this bigger. Okay, so first we don't need our default suit today. And shift day, add mesh first. Here we go. Go to set notepad 7. And zoom in. Okay. First thing we need to do is go to F6 to reduce the poly count on this. So major seconds to 12 and minor 7 seconds to 4. Because if you think about it, before it was 576 vertices and 576 faces per chain link. We're going to be making at least 100 of these by the end of it. Okay. We actually have to, first of all, customize this a little. So, just select all this, G, X, control, control, and move it. Oh, first of all, we have to go out of perspective mode, or else this isn't going to work. G, X, control, one, two, three. Very good. Now we have to do the other side. G, Control, remember, I'm just holding control of the few units. And now it's a little big in respect to our camera here. So we're go it's going to be a very big change. So back into top view, go into edit mode, select all. Remember, edit mode, if you go into object mode, it's going to mess up later. So S to scale, point 0.1, zoom in. Now what we need is an array modifier here. So add modifier and generate array. And here we go. And we want the chain link to be over it so they're kind of more linked. So with relative offset 0.65 would probably do. Here you go. But what we also need is for the second chain, right, chain link right here, to rotate 90 degrees in respect to the first chain link, and then the next one has to go in the, into the last one, and so on, so forth. So what we need to do is add an empty. In fact, so go to the menu, Shift A. Okay, that's mesh. So I have to go to this curve. No, not curve. Empty. Here we go. We have our empty. And what we need to go for our chain here is to go offset object, which will be our empty. Grab our empty, rotate X 90 degrees, and you can see our chain like here rotates 90 degrees. But we haven't got much variety. Even if we increase the amount, we still don't get a decent chain. We can't manipulate it well. So the trick is to go to add curve path Go into edit mode and grab it along the x-axis until this little point here, the end point, is just in line with the origin. I just like to do it to keep things straight. Okay. Now what we need to add is a modifier to this, which would be curve. Well, first of all, change from fixed count here to fit curve. And select curve. See, here we go. Now this is the cool pick. From object, you turn it to curve. It doesn't look like much now, but when you select the curve and go into edit mode and grab a point, extrude, the chain moves in respect to the curve. And control T, you can twist the twist parts of the chain a little. We don't do this too often, or there's bits of deformations, and you can grab stuff like this, move it around, grab it like this, extrude. Let's have a look at the camera view, and click render. And there's our basic chain. Uh, just out of camera view. And um, this was all those funnies, and this was my first ever Blender tutorial on how to make a chain and deform it on Blender. Thank you for watching.